Hey everybody, this is Greg from Nowland Studios, and today I am going to talk about my uh, Fanatec uh, Carbon Fiber Series 2 pole. And uh, there's not a lot of detail out there for something like this, so I just kind of wanted to take you through all of the experience that I have gained over the last two weeks putting this together. Um, so I've got a, a Series 2 pole on a Manfrotto set of sticks. I think it's a 055B. So it's pretty sturdy, but you'll notice that there's some tape on the bottom um, just because it's got a plastic stud on the, on the bottom part of it. And I'll show all that to you here in a second. But here is the, uh, the whole rig. essentially on top of this pole is a uh, 5 8 stud for a tripod head and right now I've just got a light stand spigot on there and you'll see I've got actually a, uh, a bearing that comes with the Fanatec setup and then the three guy wires because I plan on using this for 360 imaging and I've got a uh, pole rotator on the bottom that will allow this to freely move underneath this bearing setup. So I am out at football practice today. So I just simply have a light bracket and my uh, DJI Osmo is gonna go up on top um, and we're gonna get film for practice. And so that's why I wanted this 20 foot pole is to be able to do game film and at the same time, um, get 360 imaging with my with my uh, professional cameras but right now all I got is a $200 DJI Osmo out today I will put it up here control it with my phone and have a top-down really great image of um, scrimmage or or the linebackers or however that looks um, let me show you some other pieces so this has got six sections with five collars and uh, we'll, we'll expand that out but this will go 20 feet higher um, I do have the uh, the additional leveler on this and that's mainly for uh, when it gets set up just to make sure it's upright this pole can be used by hand and you can set it on a foot rotator um, but I like it on a set of sticks this right here is a pole adapter it's type A they do have type B type B actually grabs onto the center column this is gonna actually go onto the uh, the top mount with the 3 8 or the 5 8 um, the 5 8 uh, part that you're gonna screw uh, tripod head on and then this clamps down onto the to the pole itself on the bottom it's a completely different um, mount it actually has the ability to hold on to what they call a rotator um, I'm gonna undo this to let this pole kind of rotate freely and on the bottom here you can see that that pole can rotate so there's a little little set screw there and if you unscrew that enough it'll freely rotate so I'm planning on having the ability to pan left and right very smoothly at the top of this without having anything mechanical now again there's the duct tape because this section right here is plastic so I've got another set of sticks coming for this that is going to completely help that because it's solid so it screws in on the bottom screws in on the top holds that pole very very um very great now on the bottom i've just got the guy wire system wrapped up velcroed and these are retractable so it'll let out the uh, wire as we go and when you get to the top you just screw it down and leave about two or three inches left to, to expand on the top and then that'll that'll uh make it tight so you get all of them tight put the pole up for an additional two inches that tightens all of them and then lock that down you're ready to go so i will set the camera down for a minute since i don't have anybody else to help and we'll uh we'll put this up and then i'll show you what it looks like let me let me show you this though 
uh, before I do. This 055 XB actually is what the thing is. Has the ability to go a little wider than than photo. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to go wide like that on all three of them, and we're going to extend one leg or one leg section, not both. And uh, so I'll uh, get that ready. And it does a really nice job of, of holding it. And you'll see here in a second of what this dude looks like um, when, it's, when it's completely leveled out. And I have to tell you, I shot some film at the boys practice the other day and it was very easy to move around with just this very light camera on the bottom or on the top. So when this is fully extended, it's super portable. So I'm loving it. Now I will do game film with my Lumix Panasonic G9 and I do have the capability to, to have a mechanical electronic um, pan head and uh, I'll put some bean bags on this thing and weigh it all down. But I'll see. Who knows? Maybe my system's going to migrate to where I just use this Osmo Action because it's been pretty good. I'll give you some examples of what that looks like. And uh, I think that's about everything. Let me fully extend it for you, and then I'll show you in its extended format what it looks like. All right. So I think you can see it, and we'll get in close. And essentially, I still have the Osmo in my hand, so it'll end up on top there. And um, the guy wires are not fully tight because I got to bring it back down to put this up but basically the footprints pretty great um, I've got it spread out one click beyond what you would use for photography so it's got a lower profile and we can extend the legs out one more section but it's just not necessary in this particular uh, configuration but we've got essentially a 20 foot pole with guy wires and um, it's already kind of established to, to have kind of a, a little bit of a, a down um, angle for the guys. And we'll be dealing with uh, the freshman team over at Pine Creek High School in Colorado Springs and um, providing some practice uh, huddle film. And again, the other thing that I can do with this pole and I can take this guy and rotate it and the guy wires allow it to rotate up at top because the bearing is there and I could do um, 360 imaging on top and if I want to I can just twist the camera and point it in a different direction so I'm excited about this setup it's already worked well for me I'll flip it around and if you have any questions because uh, there's not a lot on pole photography out there um, so I'll have a couple other section or uh, films um, talking about this because I also have a non-Fanotech, non, um, basically Nodal Ninja brand that I got some Nodal Ninja brackets to put on another tripod and it's 32 foot. It's very similar to their Series 3, but I already had it. So um, we'll, we'll walk through how that worked out and that's primarily for doing aerial shots of real estate when you don't want to use a drone. All right, so feel free to ask questions below. I'll be happy to answer anything that you uh, have. Thank you much.